Imagine you're navigating a maze, not just any maze, a money maze. Every turn, every decision impacts your financial well-being. Fascinating, isn't it? Now imagine if you had a map, a guide to help you through this complex labyrinth. That's where the five pillars of personal finance come in. Think of them as your trusty compass, guiding you through the twists and turns of income, spending, saving, investing, and protection. Mastering these pillars can be the difference between feeling lost in the maze and confidently striding towards financial freedom. It's like having a cheat code in a video game. But here, the stakes are real. So, are you ready to unravel the mystery of the five pillars of personal finance? Fasten your seatbelts, it's going to be an exciting ride. Just as a house needs a strong foundation, so does your financial health. And that's where our five pillars come in. With the constant evolution of our personal finance landscape, it's become increasingly important to have a holistic approach. The world of finance isn't just about how much you earn anymore, it's about how you manage what you earn. Let's break down these five pillars, shall we? First up, we have income. This is the fuel for your financial engine. It can come from various sources like your job, a side hustle, or even smart investments. Remember, it's not about how much you make, but rather what you do with what you make. Next in line is spending. Now this is where a lot of us get tripped up. It's not just about buying what you need or want, but also understanding where your money is going. It's like going on a diet, but for your wallet. Then we have saving. Think of this as your financial safety net. Whether it's for emergency fund, a dream holiday, or your golden years, saving is your ticket to financial freedom. Fourth on our list is investing. This is where you make your money work for you. It's like planting a tree, nurturing it, and then enjoying the fruits of your labor. And lastly, we have protection. This is your financial armor. It's about safeguarding your financial health from unexpected events. It could be insurance, an emergency fund, or even legal measures. So there you have it, the five pillars of personal finance, income, spending, saving, investing, and protection. Each pillar plays a vital in building a strong financial foundation. And the great thing is, you don't need to be a Wall Street wizard to understand them. All you need is a bit of discipline, a dash of diligence, and a whole lot of determination. With these five pillars, you're not just surviving the money maze, you're mastering it. Don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful, and subscribe to our channel to join our community of financially savvy folks and receive more financial wisdom. Now that we've introduced our pillars, it's time to dig deeper. Think of it as a financial excavation. First up, we have income. Income isn't just your 9 to 5 paycheck, it's like a basket of freshly baked bread, filled with various sources like your regular job, side hustles, and even investments. The key is to diversify and optimize. Consider ways to increase your income, whether it's asking for a raise, starting a side gig, or exploring passive income from investments. You're not just looking for more bread, you're looking for a whole bakery. Next we move to spending, the art of managing your money outflow. Picture your expenses as different buckets, housing, food, transportation and entertainment among others. It's crucial to keep track of where your money is flowing and consider different budgeting methods. Remember the goal isn't to stop spending, but to spend wisely. It's like going grocery shopping. You don't want to leave with 10 jars of pickles and no bread. Third, we have saving, the art of delayed gratification. This is all about setting money aside for short-term goals like an emergency fund or long-term goals like retirement. It's like planting seeds today for a harvest tomorrow. Explore different savings vehicles and techniques that work for you. Remember, the sooner you start, the bigger your money tree grows. Investing is our fourth pillar. This isn't a get-rich-quick scheme, but a strategy for growing wealth over time. It's all about diversification and managing risks. Consider various investment options like stocks, bonds, and mutual funds. It's like a financial buffet. You don't want to fill up on just one dish. Finally, we have protection. This pillar is about safeguarding your financial health. Think insurance, health, life, and more. It's your financial safety net when life throws curveballs. Also, consider other protective measures like having legal documents in order. Think of it as wearing a helmet when riding a bike. It's not pessimistic, it's smart. With these pillars, you're not just building a financial foundation, you're creating a financial fortress. Ever wondered how a single domino can trigger a chain reaction? That's exactly how our pillars work. You see, these five pillars of personal finance, income, spending, saving, investing, and protection, they're not five separate entities. They're interconnected, working in concert to create the symphony that is your financial well-being. Let's think about it for a second. 
Increased income can boost your savings, right? More money coming in gives you more to set aside, but it also gives you more to spend, and that's where the spending pillar comes into play. It's all about managing your money wisely, not just spending because you have more. Now when you've got your spending in check, you can start saving more effectively. And saving isn't just about stashing cash under your mattress, it's about setting short-term and long-term goals, and then working towards them. An emergency fund for a rainy day? That's a short-term goal. Saving for retirement? That's a long-term goal. But what's the point of saving if you're not going to make your money work for you? That's where investing comes in. By investing, you're putting your money to work, helping it grow over time. And it's not just about throwing all your money into a single venture. Diversification is key, spread your investments to manage risk, and finally, there's protection. No, we're not talking about hiring a bodyguard for your money. We're talking about insurance, about having a safety net in case things go south. Whether it's health insurance, life insurance, or property insurance, it's all about mitigating risk and protecting your assets. So you see, each pillar influences the others, creating a delicate balance. It's like a financial ecosystem where each component plays a crucial role. And just as in any ecosystem, a change in one area can ripple across the others. Remember, it's not just about managing these pillars, it's about orchestrating them in harmony. Because when you do, you'll find that the whole is indeed greater than the sum of its parts. So we've navigated the maze, built our foundation, and connected our pillars. What's next, you might ask? Well, let's zoom out for a moment and see the big picture. We have ventured through the intricate labyrinth of personal finance encountering the five robust pillars, income, spending, saving, investing, and protection. Each pillar is a crucial cog in the clockwork of our financial well-being, and understanding them is the first step towards financial independence. Now it's time to put this knowledge into action. Start evaluating your income sources. Are you maximizing your earning potential? Next, scrutinize your spending habits. Are you mindful of where your money goes? Remember, a penny saved is a penny earned. Moving on to saving, are you setting aside a portion of your income for future goals? When it comes to investing, are you diversifying and managing risks effectively? Finally, protection. Have you considered insurance and other protective measures to safeguard your financial health? Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither will your financial fortress be. It's about making consistent, informed decisions each day that will compound over time. The power is in your hands. Are you ready to take control of your financial destiny? It's time to take the reins and steer your way towards freedom. After all, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. And you've already taken that first step by learning the five pillars of personal finance. So what are you waiting for? Let's get building. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content on personal finance. Let's master the money maze together.